Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I literally just finished editing my last video so I'm literally no break straight on to my next one. Um, I really want to up the quality of these videos because I watch a lot of studio vlogs um, for other creators and businesses and their videos are so much better than mine. Um, obviously I haven't been doing this long. Um, I've only really taken it seriously the past few months but I do want to have better quality. I want to look more presentable in my videos. The last few videos I've literally not looked my best, let's just say. So put a bit of makeup on, um, put a bit more effort into my videos, make them a bit more higher quality. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So this week um, I am upgrading my packaging. It's one of my goals this week. So I've just had a delivery of some packaging tape, which came super, super quick. I literally ordered it yesterday and it's already came um so yeah i'm upgrading my packaging because my packaging isn't amazing at the moment it's just the order a thank you card sometimes a sticker depending on how big the order is and then that's pretty much it um but i want to have some like tape some custom like business stickers um a new thank you card you know some like freebies in there um just a better experience all around when a customer opens a package. So I've ordered a lot. I've ordered a label printer as well um, that basically prints out my postage labels. Because then I just hand cut them. They don't, they don't look very professional, which is hand cut. Um, and the label printer also prints custom stickers. It's a Munbian, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it was quite pricey, but I think it's worth it. Just to make my parcels and packaging just look better just more professional um that's my aim so yeah I've ordered that hopefully it should come in the next few days and then yeah custom parcel tape which I'll show you in a second can't wait to open that so basically when I package my orders I currently just use like this fragile tape behind me um just like it's not cute it's not pretty um so I ordered some like it's like doodle kind of tape I'll show you tape I got from custom tape I love it I wanted I, I would obviously go for pink because pink is my color but the boxes I send in are pink so I don't want to go for like pink tape and pink boxes because it'd be it'd be too much pink and you the tape won't really stand out if that makes sense so I went for a white color um it's going to be reversed on the screen the screen but um you probably saw it just there that I showed you but yeah it's like a little doodle um pattern I thought that was so me so Cyber Chick Shop, um, my new thank you cards, which should be coming in the next few days, which you probably saw in the last video, I have that kind of like doodle-esque style. Um, so I thought this will look perfect. And obviously one day I'd love to get my own custom designed tape, but it's really expensive. And I think for these two, it was like 16.50 or something like that. Um, so a lot less expensive compared to like custom designed tape, which is um, I think it's like seventy pound for five rolls, and these are sixteen fifty for two rolls. So, um, a lot more. Um, I think it's even more than that actually. I think it might be more than seventy five pound. Kind of the exact figure, but yeah, basically a lot more expensive than if I just buy all the design tape. So I cannot wait to put these on my new packages. It's like the first step to better packaging, and hopefully, at the end of this video, I'll have much better packaging for my orders. So I thought I'd quickly show you guys a little DIY I did yesterday, um, if you guys are interested in doing the same. So I really wanted to like spice up my office with some autumn Halloween things. Um, I have a lot more to buy, but I thought I'd do like a little DIY. So like a little DIY um, Halloween bunting, and I'll show you that now because it looks really cute. So here is the bunting. It's just like scream, um, ghost face kind of inspired. I already made a print with this. Um, it's actually now up just there um but yeah all i did do a print with that so all i had to do was really like cut around it on my ipad and then cut it cut it out with cricut and then string it all together with some 
pink and white string that I got from Amazon. Um, so that looked really cute. Um, I did tie like little knots just so didn't that they didn't like fall down, but that actually isn't necessary because they do just hang where I wanted them to anyway. So don't do the knots because it actually doesn't make it look great. But I'm too lazy to go and untie them all. But um, yeah, I also filmed a video, a little TikTok of me making that. So if you want to see how I made it, go check that out. So I just had a few deliveries. I just had some charm, which you just saw me put in the containers. And then I had an all a delivery of some new glassine bags. So I thought I'd upgrade my cello bags to these little bags. So I think they just look, I think they look nicer. Um, they're basically like frosty, like frosted over um, bags, my stickers and maybe my key rings as well. And then obviously I'd put like, um, my custom sticker on the front or something i'll have to experiment with how they look but i'll show you what they look like with like a sticker in so i'd put some of my random stickers in a glassine bag so they'd look um these are the sew bags that i used before for my stickers um but yeah so you just put them in this and then you'd obviously like fold it over and stick it down and i think i'd put like a sticker in the middle um a custom round sticker i was looking on pinterest pinterest for some inspiration and that's what people seem to do um but yeah i think in the future i will buy smaller ones because i don't actually need them that big but i guess i can use them for my key rings and stuff um but yeah that's the new bags and then once i've actually made one up i will show you guys what they look like um i think i'm actually going to print out some custom stickers now but yeah i'm going to print off some custom stickers i'm not sure if i want them outsourced or make them at home on my Cricut I'm not sure um I'm also thinking of upgrading my Cricut because when I print glossy stickers it is a nightmare for anything else it's fine but glossy stickers it's a nightmare I tried all the tips I've tried putting matte scotch tape over the um sensor lines I tried everything um it just doesn't want to work some days and it'll take me like two hours just to cut some stickers so i think i'm gonna upgrade to the silhouette cameo um it does cost quite a bit more but if it saves me more time then it's worth it so if i do upgrade i will let you guys know um but yeah i think for now i'm going to make my own stickers and then possibly order some in already cut because it'll be a lot quicker to just have them all you made because if i'm making my own it's obviously more time and then packaging orders takes longer and then really want my packaging orders to be as like efficient as quick as possible because it takes up so much time already um the whole day sometimes packaging orders so i really need to be efficient but obviously upgrading my packaging is going to make it a bit slower but i think it's worth it for better packaging but i still want it to be fairly efficient and quick um but yeah i'm going to make some stickers now also, just quickly before I film me make my stickers, I just unboxed an order for some big A3 prints that came. I thought I'd show you guys because they look so good. Um, so some of them are orders and some of them are going out to some people on Instagram who I've sent a message to and I'm gifting them for a like ad, like a post. Um, so I need to send them out today because these have come taken a while to come so i do order in my a3 prints because my printer does not print up to a3 um but yeah i thought i'd show you because they look so good and i haven't seen some of these in a3 size yet so obviously because they've all been rolled up in a tube they are all rolled up but obviously if you do want to order one you can just flatten it out and they should just flatten out um if you put it on some, under something heavy or once you put it in the frame, it will definitely flatten out. Um, but yeah, here's one of them. One of my favourites, the Don't Call Me 2000s phone. The quality of these are so good. And then another one of my favourites is the Party This Way. And then we've got this one, which um, is going out to some on Instagram. The Beep Beep Bitch car print. And 
the disco board. Ooh. Roller skate one, which is also going out on Instagram. And then finally, we've got a cowboy, cowgirl boot prints. They all look so good. Um, I'm going to package them very, very soon and send them out with my new tape. So here are the stickers I've designed. This pink one is for my Manbian thermal printer. Um, so it only, it doesn't use ink, it's heat, I think. I'm not really 100% sure how it works, but basically you can't use color. Um, so it's all black and white, and that's just gonna go on the back of my like notepad, my mirrors, um, which I'm really excited for because at the moment when I send out my mirrors and my notepads, they have no branding on the back of them. Um, so especially for wholesale orders as well, it's going to be a lot better and more professional. And then here is my little um, thank you sticker, which I'm now going to repeat on A4 document and cut out using my Cricut. self-love checklist notepad so i have um they printed wrong the first time i ordered them so i have a lot of seconds notepads actually behind me just over there um see so yeah, i packed one of those i have to use my old business cards my little leaflets um because a new ones still haven't arrived i, I ordered from this to print and it used to be so quick um like the turnaround like making them turn them off it used to be like in like four days but now it's super super slow um I don't know if that's just for your first few orders they ship out really quickly or i don't know but yeah still not come yet but hopefully in the next two or three days they come because i hate these i hate these these are like my emergency kind of cards if i run out because i'm so bad with like stock and realizing when i need to order some more um so yeah i've got a few more orders to pack i've got a lot more orders to pack actually um so this is probably going to be it for today. Um, tomorrow, I have a whole order to do probably tomorrow because I have a lot of phone cases to do. I've done about half of them and then I have another like half of phone cases to do. I think it's like 15 or so to do and then that will be done tomorrow. Um, the back end card for the earrings i also need to design i'll probably do that tonight i go to my partner's house in the evening um and usually that's when i do like my ipad kind of work so i'll probably do that tonight and show you guys tomorrow but yeah i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow
it's been a good few days since that last clip was recorded. A lot has happened in the last few days. Um, I have been working, but not a lot, so I haven't been able to film. Um, sadly, the Queen died, as you probably are aware, um, a few days ago, so that was very, very sad and upsetting, so I didn't really do any work that day. Um, I did do a drawing of her, however, so that really inspired to just try and draw her my own style, and I did a little post on Instagram just talking about her, and yeah, so that was quite upsetting and emotional, um, so I didn't do too much work that day. And then I had family over, um, past few days as well so it's just been very very busy and then I also went shopping with my friend the other day um for some new stuff for my office um just some little bits which I will show you because I think they look really really cute some like awesome bits and then I got um some stuff for my bean bag just to make it extra cozy and then I also need to do I also need to buy a coffee table that is probably the last thing on my list um went from Ikea or something but yeah I'll show you what I got because I think it's really, really cute so I got some autumn bits for this shelf. So we've got a little glitter pumpkin. I cannot remember what everything is from. Um, but I think that pumpkin was Home Bargains, I think. And then we've got a vanilla pumpkin. That was from Vanilla Pumpkin Candle. That was from TK Maxx. And then I've got a white pumpkin. That was from Home Bargains. This orange glittery pumpkin was from Poundland. And then I got a really, really cute little um, plant in this little like, stand, which I've always wanted. I think it looks super cute. That was from TK Maxx. And then a caramel pumpkin candle from TK Maxx as well. And then I will show you my bean bag. So I just got this new cushion. That was from TK Maxx, actually. It was in the sale, like the clearance section. So only three pounds, which was an absolute steal. So I was like, I need that. And then I got this really nice um, new blanket from Poundland. And then over here, I think I only got this actually. Um, this little love heart candle was from B&M. Was it Home Bargains? I can't remember the difference. <laughs> I think Home Bargains, yeah. And obviously that goes on my little love heart mirror. And I just changed that section. But yeah, that was all that was really worth showing. Just a few little bits that I picked up. Um, but now I'm going to do some marketing some orders. I'm really annoyed with it because I've just realised my thank you cards still have not come. Um, obviously because the Royal Mail strikes and everything. They're probably significantly delayed. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, they will come this morning. So I really do want to package some orders. And I hate using my my old um, leaflets. They're not, they're not great. I designed them ages ago. Um, so I really, really want you thank you cards to come. It was like ages ago that I was designing them and ordered them. Um, so fingers crossed they come today. So I'm going to actually package orders with my new thank you cards. Um, but my labels also came for my new Munbian, that's how you say it, um, label printer. The label printer has not come yet though. It's coming on Tuesday. Um, but the labels have come. So I'm super excited to be able to start printing my own labels. I can stick on my products, um, which would be really useful for wholesale as well because at the moment when I'm sending items off for wholesale I'm just selling them off with like no branding on them um which isn't great if you do sell wholesale you should always put your branding on your products just because if your product goes into a shop or something if a customer buys that product they can see where it came from um so I need to do that because I haven't been doing that um but yeah I'll update you if my business thank you cards come but yeah, I'm going to do some orders now. Probably I might just package them without the thank you card. And then when they come, I'll just pop them in. We will see. But yeah. So literally two minutes after filming that, my thank you cards have arrived. Um, thank God. So now I can package orders with a thank you card in. Um, out of breath because I'm trying up the stairs. Um, but yeah, I'm going to film a little unboxing. I'm always nervous when I order new thank you cards in case I've like had a spelling error or something is wrong with them. Um, fingers crossed they look okay because the last ones I ordered from Mr. Brin were perfect. So I really hope they're okay because I ordered like 200 of them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little unboxing and then once I've unboxed them, I'll come back and show you guys what they look like. So I've just filmed the unboxing and thank God they are printed perfectly correct. Obviously it's backwards, but this is what they look like. Obviously you saw when I was designing them. 
but yeah one thing i didn't realize though is that i don't know if they were the same like all business cards but with these they're only glossy on one side which isn't the front because i'm not sure if i uploaded it like the back as the front the front as the back because i didn't i didn't think there's any difference but yeah the back the back is glossy whereas the front is a bit more matte um they also feel thinner i'm not sure if they like decrease their quality or if i've ordered a different style um i think i, I saw i ordered the same one though because i'm pretty sure i just went on vistaprint clicked reorder and then just edited my last design but yeah they are a little bit more thin and i'm pretty sure they're only glossy on one side whereas the old ones i'm pretty sure glossy on both sides could be wrong but either way they look super super cute i love them um so now i'm gonna film not film photograph them for like an instagram post to show my new business cards my thank you cards um and also the cute qr code works thank god because i was worried that the qr code wouldn't work but it does so thank god. it all turned out perfectly so yeah i'm gonna take some photos of them and then start putting them in orders Monday. It was a few days later. Um, I had a really, really busy weekend just designing some stuff for autumn, my Halloween collection. Um, I'm leaving it really, really late. I should have announced the date for it a few days ago. Um, and I, everyone else has already released it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be way too late to the game. Um, but the thing is, not everything has come. I ordered them like beginning of August, so some things have not come i think for my photo frames i ordered like some little ghost charms or like little ghost key rings they still haven't come so fingers crossed they come in the next week because i really need to like announce a date i might still announce a date even if they don't come in time i'll still put them up because i really need to announce a date and get people excited um so yeah but i just had a delivery i don't know if i just if my point just didn't make sense as I was saying before, um, yeah, the weekend, I spent designing autumn stuff, so I designed some mugs, some really cute prints, I will show you in a second, and some brown paper. So I will show you that, be excited because it's all so cute. But yeah, so I had a delivery just now of my Mungian um, label printer, which I have been really excited about coming. Um, I'm not sure it's actually from Mungian, it says it's from Mungian but on the package, but it was quite a lot cheaper than the ones on Amazon and, on, and the ones on Mungian's um, website, but I don't know if I'm saying that right, I could be saying it completely wrong, but that's just how I say it in my head. Um, it was only around 60, 70 pounds from eBay. 
so hopefully it's actually a genuine one i am not sure we're gonna unbox it and have a look um and i also had a delivery for some of these key rings which i'm planning to do for october autumn halloween um it's a bit late but hopefully they still sell i did all of them such a long time ago but they finally have come so yeah basically these little um so if you can hear the hoover outside it's really really noisy um these little motel you've probably seen them before they're like motel kind of um i think they're like american inspired like motel key chains like when you go into your room you get like your room number but people have like um made them their own now and they've become really trendy um where you can put like quotes on them and stuff so that's what i'm gonna do um i've got black i've got orange i've got pink and i've got blue the blue obviously won't be for autumn probably for christmas or something um yeah i need to do some designs for these with my vinyl um so yeah super exciting but now i'm gonna unbox my lego printer and then i'll show you some of the designs i have done as far as i'm aware it looks pretty legit pretty real um which is really really cool because i got it for a really good price then um it's come with lots of bits which i have no clue what that is probably for somehow connected to my laptop um so i can leave my labels or something i'm not sure and then i have lots of wires obviously and i was in here oh it's a big plug okay that's fine um yeah, I think it also was supposed to come with labels, so maybe that's in there. Um, because I do want to try that out. But yeah, I'm gonna spend um some time trying to set that up. Hopefully it's smooth. work obviously i can't really show you the label because there's someone's address on it um but yeah i managed to get to work the first time i did it it crumpled so that went wrong i think i didn't on the back it doesn't tell you this it probably does but not on like the the guide that i had but um i didn't space the um space thingies you know when you have a different size paper you have to like move the um things in and out i don't know if they probably have a proper name for them but i have no clue but yeah i didn't move them um so I think it works. The only thing is, is the label is a little bit off the paper slightly. So hopefully that is probably just going to have spaced them correctly. Um, but yeah, the other annoying thing is though, is that I thought it might be, I didn't think it would be wireless, but I thought there'd only be maybe like one wire, but there's two, which makes it quite clunky on my desk. Um, so that's a bit annoying because I did try and unplug one. You have to have one connecting to your laptop computer and one obviously connected to your power source. Um, but I thought maybe I could unplug the one going to my laptop now it's connected. But I did unplug it and it didn't work. So you need, if you are planning on buying one, you do have to use two wires, which can make it quite fiddly on your desk. Only downside. Um, apart from that, I love it. These labels are going to look so much better on my packages compared to where I hand cut them, which when I'm in a rush, I don't hand cut them very neatly um, sometimes. So yeah, it'll look a lot more professional um, and quicker. I don't have to like cut them, tape them, because I use a lot of tape as well. I have to constantly buy like tape. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm going to try with the pink stickers now, the labels, and see how that works. Um, I only do have the tester labels. I don't know if I've actually bought any postage labels stickers i can't remember um i'm gonna have to order some that i haven't but yeah i'm gonna try the little pink labels out now and come back and show you but yeah this is what i mean about the two wires um 
because obviously I already charged my laptop so now I've got another wire going on another wire going on down there so it's not ideal um I might not keep the printer there because yeah this wire is going to get in my way when I'm packaging orders <sighs> but so I have to have a re a range of my desk and get my laptop close to the edge so I can dangle this off the corner of my desk if that makes sense um I was going to put it there on my print on my print but yeah because I have to connect to my laptop that's not really going to work um and also I have this big um tape holder which is not going to fit on there so yeah that's the only thing that's kind of annoying um apart from that so far it's okay it also does come with a full guide or anything you need to know this is not an ad at all by the way this is not sponsored um i bought up my own money but i just thought i'd let you guys know in case you are thinking of buying one um yeah it comes with everything you need to know so for me etsy i just clicked on that and it told me how to set up my etsy labels i will say the way it tells you to do it isn't really the correct way i had to watch a youtube video for it so i think it is a bit outdated um or maybe for american etsy i'm not sure but yeah hopefully i can find somewhere how i can make it print on my pink labels because i'm not sure if that's on here otherwise i'll just watch it on youtube because it's usually easier but yeah it comes with all this information which is really helpful so i printed out my first one and it didn't work really the um the logo and the rainbows and stuff didn't print properly so i'm gonna have to do some research on why that is um because it's all set up correctly so i'm not really sure but hopefully it's just something i can quickly fix so i had to go in and edit the actual design so I took away the logo because i was always printing blurry and then i thickened up the lines for the little um images it's still not perfect it's still a bit blurry but i think it's okay um if anyone has a mungian printer or a thermal printer in general and has any advice i have cleaned the print head i've um printed it from photoshop and i'm using good stickers so i'm not sure why it is a little bit blurry because that's all the advice i've seen um maybe that's just how it prints but i think it's okay um it gets the information across anyway so yeah, I'm going to print out a batch of those so I can use them on orders. I kept wanting to say, sorry, why are you telling us all this? Keep it yourself. Weird. So I think I'm going to end my video here because it's already super, super long. But I really enjoyed filming this video. It's one of my favourites that I've filmed. Um, I think documenting how I'm changing my packaging might help others. Um, obviously, I do want to continue to change it and continue to make it better in the future. It's just like... A step that I've made to like improve it with new tape and new stickers and everything um because before it was pretty bland um so I'm really really happy with my new packaging I still need to order some freebie sticker sheets for every order I think or I might just order a, free, a freebie like die cut sticker for every package um for every order and then I also want to have my logo stickers printed professionally instead of doing all my Cricut because it's just a lot quicker um probably not cheaper but it's a lot quicker for me rather than cutting and printing out logo stickers every you know however many i need every now and then um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful if you're considering upgrading your packaging making it look more professional um i'm sure in the next few videos i will show you any other bits i get that i'm improving the packaging with um but yeah i hope you enjoyed and please subscribe if you haven't already it means the world to me um but yeah i'll see you in the next one bye